Today I present to you iSpy, the latest application to help protect you, your loved ones, your home, and your personal belongings. iSpy is an application that was developed by four students at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. iSpy is an application that uses facial recognition and motion detection to notify you if an intruder or a burglar enters your home and is endangering your family and your loved ones. So first we'll go and click on menu here at the bottom to open up the application. As you can see, here's a list of applications on your mobile device. Go ahead and click on the iSpy application with the badge right there to open up our application. And here we see the home screen for the iSpy application, iSpy motion detection. We have two options at the bottom, motion detection and the options button. The options button gives us a little more functionality within the application. I'm going to quickly go ahead and click on that to show you the options within. We have two basic options, sensitivity and volume. A low sensitivity will detect facial features less often and will sound the alarm less often, as opposed to high sensitivity, which will pick up pretty much any motion or any facial features and will sound an alarm. And obviously when the alarm sounded, you have the choice of whether you want it to be a low volume alarm or a high volume alarm, depending on the situation that you're in. Um, but yeah, these are the two basic options within the iSpy application, sensitivity and volume. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back and actually run the application. I'll run it once on the Java emulator and then once on an actual mobile handheld device, the Samsung Galaxy S3. So here we go. Press motion detection to start your application. And there we go, there's the motion detection application working. Um, obviously you see it sideways on the screen, it is not that way on the actual mobile handheld device, uh, just the way it is on the emulator. Um, at the bottom you have your two basic buttons, the start button and the stop back button. Um, as soon as you press start, the camera will begin recording and uh, once any facial features are detected, an alarm will sound and it'll notify you at that point you'd have to go back and turn off the alarm um, by pressing the stop and back button which will uh, end the application at that point so there's the start button and the stop and back button which will take us back to our home screen so I'm going to go ahead now and actually run this application on a mobile handheld device so that you can see uh, how it works and the facial features uh, recognition that it does detect so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now okay so now we will demo the application on an actual handheld device the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 um, phone of um, which many of you are familiar with so first obviously um, unlock your screen and go to the applications right here at the bottom and there you'll see the iSpy application will be right there on the right hand side. Go ahead and click it to open the iSpy application. And there you'll see our home screen with the same options at the bottom, motion detection and options. I'm just going to go ahead and click the application and run it to show you how it works. So here we go. Now you see the camera here. It's a live stream of the camera. I can go through the room. As you will see, there's my face. Oh, it's gone back. Start the application again. My face, the room, and everything like that. Now, once I press the start button on the application, the first facial feature it recognizes, it will automatically sound a siren. So I'm going to start it without it on my face and then show you how the siren goes off as soon as it sees my face. So. Here we've just started the application and watch this, I'm moving it around, it hasn't picked up any facial features yet, but as soon as it sees mine, voila, the uh, siren is going off. Now at this point, you'll have to press stop at the bottom and it'll take you back to the home screen. It is a great application to be able to use to protect your family or friends, just basically put it, turn it on and leave the camera and the phone streaming and first facial feature it picks up it will automatically sound a very loud alarm that you'll be able to hear from anywhere in your home. This is a great application that you can use to help protect your home, 
your family and your friends, and to keep your loved ones safe. Thank you. <laughs>